and hello everybody it's wild with a gaming here today i'm doing my first mod review this mod here was made by hispano modding uh if i can get to it up oh, here it is the lizard t2000 this truck is based off the kenworth t2000 and uh it has a lot a lot of customization i see why it took him so long to work on it this truck is absolutely stunning so for the wheel brand you can do continentals no can or just continentals okay just those two i think we're gonna do continentals oh no you can't change that there all right so we'll do continentals chassis design uh so I'm assuming back here you have partial coating yep it is full coating Ooh. so okay that's interesting or you can do partial coating we're going to do partial coating exhaust so this is the standard curved with whips curved whips with protectors oh wait does that pop go out into the side oh no it doesn't straight with whips straight whips protectors standard with sides curves with sides curve with sides protectors straight with sides straight with sides protectors and standard let's do we can do straight with yeah let's do straight with mud guard uh so you have standard individual rubber individual rubber with skirts individual rubber reflective Ooh, so it adds a little reflective strip on the side there individual rubber skirts and reflective you can do one piece rubber one piece rubber skirts one piece rubber reflective one piece rubber skirts reflective individual metal individual metal skirts metal one piece metal one piece skirts individual plastic plastic one piece or you could just do away with it you don't even have to add it uh let's do can i do this looks pretty cool we can do this reflective skirts this truck has skirts guys so you do oh. outline start where is it oh yo on the uh, mud flaps all right so you can do no outline stripes outline stripes or no yo that's pretty sick this is amazing uh let's do outline tinted windows all right, you can do 0%, 33%, 66%, 100% tint. Let's do 100% tint. Rear windows. Where is this at? Oh, right here, right here. Okay. So you can do no. Superiors. Lower. Ooh. Superiors and lower. Let's do superior and lowers beacon lights it says model okay so i'm assuming it's not you do one two three four five six i can't see them but it does say model so i'm assuming that means they work or whatever you just can't see them i'm cool with that we'll do one then additional spotlights must be on the back uh where are they at okay i don't see them but i'm assuming the lights will just get better nice nice motor grill holes in the row buses holes and circles holes and rhombuses holes and circles holes and rhombuses holes and circles let's do holes and rhombuses front accessory no you can do a front bar plate bar front bar and plate we'll do no side accessories sidebar railing 
sidebars and railing. Where's the railing at? Oh, right here. I'm so blind. Uh, we could do just railing, but let's see how much other options. Okay, that's just it. So we'll do the railing accessories in the ceiling. So there's also customization inside the truck. We can do. Oh wait, no, it's on top. It's on top of the roof. Up oh, there goes the beacons. Okay, so if you add full bar, you can get your beacons. That's how that works. All right. That's how the beacons work, guys. You got to get the full bar, or I'm assuming just any top bar for the beacons. Can I do? Uh, where's the beacons at again? Oh, right here. And you can also throw them on the visor bar. Uh, we can do. Ooh, and it's different model beacons. Look at all these model designs. These are pretty good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yo, there's clear beacons. Let's do the clear beacons. That's new. I've never seen that. Uh, so where are we? Accessories in the ceiling. Front chrome. Spotlights. Okay, here's your spotlights. You can get a plate. Top. Ooh. Spotlight and plate. <sighs> Let's do top. I like top. Side chrome. Okay, so your mirrors. You can do it on your steps. Sides. Mirrors and steps. Can I do all? Yes, I can. Front strobe. Okay, that's right down here. Do front bar. Plate. Front bar and plates. Oh, if you okay, so if you put the plate option, it'll give you that okay option. You can put some lights on the plate or whatever. Engine setup C12, so Caterpillar 12, I'm assuming. C16, 616, powerful. 612. So you could do the stock 430, stock, I mean, or you can do 600. Or you can do a thousand. We're gonna do six hundred horsepower. Side strobe, mirrors, steps, sides, mirror steps. You already know. I want all the options. Ceiling strobe. Let's do all. Rear strobes. Actually, let's see what that's changed. I don't even know what that. Oh, right there. Yes, of course. Chassis coating color silver. Gold. Okay, so you can change the color of your chassis. Matte pink, matte crimson. Looks like it has a lot of options. Orange chrome, red fended, Massey Ferguson, Limpkin. Yeah, it has a bunch of options. Custom colors too, if you ask me. Or at least that's what they look like. JCB Challenger Orange. This is I think this is literally the whole color palette right here on this truck, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is a lot. You can do matte black. I think matte black. Let's do matte black. Nose color is chrome, but you can do main color. So this changes this. Chrome looks amazing, which chrome is also stock. You also don't have to pay for the main color, but we're going to do chrome. Color accessories, not all. Woo! So you can change this. Let's chrome it out, which looks beautiful. Color strobes and pilots. Oh, okay, up here. You can do white chrome for that. Main color. So we got some custom paints here. This is Dutzfarth Chrome. Voucher Matte. For this truck, I'm actually thinking of black. Ooh. Alright, but then we also got matte black. Nice, nice. I think we'll just do black. Chassis color. This will change the color of the chassis. We're going to leave that black. Rubber fender color. 
Okay, I don't have rubber fenders. That's right. So metal fender color. Ah, uh, there we go. Is there any chrome? Please. I think this is chrome. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Color reflector mud guards. Ooh, so I can change this. Let's do yellow, you know, cat, black and yellow. Engine grill color. Oh, that's sick. Let's make this yellow too. Yeah. Rim color. So you can do chrome, white. We're gonna leave it chrome. Oh wait, hold on. I know that says chrome. But this is also okay, this is white chrome. You have light gray comb, silver chrome, that's light gray, and then this is metallic gray. Let's do white chrome. You get a license plate. Slap that on here. That truck with all the customization done cost me two hundred and seven thousand dollars. So it does have some functions. You can do mirrors. Just your mirrors. That's pretty cool. Interior. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to check something real quick. This truck, though, is amazing. I, I like, so far, I like it. This truck is amazing. You got a license plate here, and you have a license plate here. This truck is just beautiful. Well, the dash has some similarities to the real life counterpart, like all the round uh, gauges and all, but other than that, everything's pretty custom. You got a CB radio, the chairs are very detailed, the roof. Uh, I'm assuming the gear stick works. It does, along with the pedal. <coughs> Excuse me, that's what the horn sounds like. Look at all those lights. Look at all those lights. Beautiful. Alright, let's go for a little drive here. Actually, what I'm going to do is we're going to go to settings. And we're going to turn on our fuel usage to high. On the outside sounds amazing. Turn the signals do work. Front and back. We're slowly climbing up there and we hit our top speed with the 600 horsepower setup, 75 miles per hour. Whee! Yeah, this Ooh, excuse me, this truck is really fun. Uh, I'm going to be using this in a great good bit of roleplay. Oh wait, hold on. Let's do a cold start, shall we? Well, warm start, but uh, just to let you guys... Alright, while we're at it, let's go ahead and get a trailer. See the true potential of this thing. Uh, what trailer should we get? Get an enclosed trailer from 82 Studio. We can do pallets auto load. Let's go ahead and buy that. We are going to reset this truck to the dealership. We're going to 
gonna buy a bunch of pallets and load it in. So let's get to it. Now we're going to put the tomatoes into the trailer. lot more tomatoes um, so let's do something different let's grab a Ooh, we can grab a random trailer let's do capacity 53,000 get from under this trailer let's back into this one <clears throat> we'll do that. We'll buy this field right here. We'll go under to construction. Uh, we can go to. Uh, what is it under? Tools, I think. We'll get this. Let's go ahead and take that off. I'm going to lower that lift axle on the back. This truck is amazing. I'm loving this truck. Let's do rocks. Let's put rocks in the back. Or stone, I should say. My bad. We will put a load of stone in the back. Alright, we got 53,000 liters of stone. It's pulling it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.